Hey guys, Dave from WP Smackdown, and today I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about TAP WordPress hosting. TAP hosting has been around since October of 2014, but they've been in the news a lot over the last couple of weeks, and um, I just saw them pop up on my radar, so I wanted to give them a quick spin and introduce them to you guys and show you what they're all about. So they are a UK-based company, and they were recently featured on Product Hunt. They just got uh, about 150 upvotes over there, and I think that's where a lot of the recent publicity has come from, and that's how I found out about them. So, so let's take a look at some of TAP's features. They have a lot of the same features that you'll get with managed WordPress hosting companies out there, WP Engine, Pagely, Flywheel, a lot of these other different companies. I won't go into all of them, but there are a couple of features that are kind of specific that they offer that I haven't seen offered from anybody else. One is that they offer free SSLs for all of their websites. Now my guess is, I don't know this for sure, but my guess is they're probably using Let's Encrypt, which just recently came out of beta, and they offer free SSL certificates. So they're probably using that platform to be able to offer that. But regardless, you as a customer, you get the benefit of a free SSL for your site. The other thing that's a little bit different, I haven't seen any other WordPress sites that are powered by the Google Cloud platform but that is what TAP has chosen to use for their back-end platform. So those are two unique features that TAP offers that I haven't seen anywhere else. One of the other cool things about TAP is that they will migrate your site for free. So if you're currently hosting elsewhere and you want to give them a try, just shoot them an email and they will migrate everything over for you free of charge. Let's take a look at TAP's pricing. This is another thing that's very unique about them is that they really only have one main plan. So you can have as many free TAP sites as you want, but they will be stored on TAP's subdomain. So you'll have, for example, wpsmackdown.thisistap.com. You can't have your own custom domain on their free sites, but you can set up as many free demo sites as you'd like. So this is great if you're working with a client, you're building their site, and you need a development environment. You can do so free of charge on TAP's platform and then when you're ready to launch that site and put it on its own domain, then you simply pay $5 per month per site. They do list a couple of restrictions that they have in terms of local storage, but really everything else is unmetered bandwidth, unmetered visits per month. They're not keeping track of that stuff and they're not going to charge you extra. They will reach out to you if you go way over um, your quota and start getting a huge amount of, of visits or using up a ton of bandwidth. They are going to reach out to you but it's unclear right now what that pricing structure might look like when you get to that point. But for most simple sites that are getting just an average amount of traffic, all you should really be paying is $5 per site per month. So now I'm going to create an account and set up a test site. So first thing I'll do is come up to the top and click the green button to create my free site. I'll simply fill out some simple details about myself here. Agree to the terms of service and give it a whirl. The second step in creating a TAP account is to put in a subdomain URL that you're going to use for your website. I will use my first and last name. Then you create a WordPress site name uh, and then we'll set up an admin user and password account. So I'm just going to call this Dave Werfel's blog. I'll use Dave as my username and create my site. The site creation process only took about 20 seconds, which I thought was super fast. I was expecting it to take at least a couple of minutes, but was surprised at how quickly this was ready to go. So here's the site I created. I'm going to go ahead and click on the URL, and I get the installation screen. So some WordPress hosts will go through and set up the entire install for you. With TAP, you are going to go through the really quick installation process. So I'll choose my language. I'll just go ahead and fill in all this information here, creating my admin user and password, putting in an email address, and I'm going to discourage search engines from indexing the site because this is just a test site. And I'm ready to log in. A few things to note once you log into your new WordPress site. The current 2016, which is a default theme for WordPress, is automatically activated for you. And you have 2015 and 2014 also installed and available if you'd like to switch to either one of those. 
And in terms of default plugins, the same two default plugins that are always installed if you put installed WordPress on your own, uh, Akismet and Hello Dolly, those two are also installed here uh, using TAP. Taking a look at my actual site on the front end, all of the standard WordPress content is installed for us. So we have a default post of Hello World that says this is your first post. Go ahead and edit, delete it, and start writing. And you also have one default comment as well. So all the default content from WordPress is installed. On the free plan with TAP, it doesn't look like there's too many settings in the dashboard area. There is this setting options here, which gives you three options. One will just jump you to your WordPress admin. The other two, disable plugins and disable theme. These are interesting. If you click on disable plugins, it will do exactly what you think. You can disable every plugin that you have running on your site. One of the benefits to doing this is if you're having issues or receiving different errors and you don't know where they're coming from, a lot of them may be caused by one of your plugins. One of the quickest ways to troubleshoot is to disable all of your plugins and re-enable them one at a time and see which one is the offender, which one is causing the problem. So here's a really quick way to do that and to test things. This is especially useful if you're on a demo site and you're still in testing mode. If you do have a live site with lots of traffic, you're going to want to be careful disabling all of your plugins as they may have some functionality that is required for your site to work and function the way that it does. So be careful with this, but it is a nice feature. The other feature here is you can disable a theme. So if you've installed a custom theme from any one of the different theme providers out there or you've created your own, it's possible that that theme could be causing problems as well. And what you can do is you can disable whatever active theme you currently have and it will switch back to the WordPress default right now, which is going to be 2016. If you need to delete a site, all you simply do is click the red X and you're just asked one final time. You'll never be able to recover the data. Are you sure you want to delete it? There's very little information in the My Account section of TAP's platform. You've got simple name and email address here, which you can change if you need to update your email. And SFTP and billing are available for pro subscribers. So SFTP is not available on your free and demo accounts. So you have to upgrade and pay $5 per site per month in order to get access to SFTP. When you're ready to upgrade your demo site and turn it into a live site and put it on your own custom domain, simply click the Upgrade button. You'll get a message here that says choose your domain name. Click Next. And then you'll simply enter your payment information, put your credit card number, the security code, and the expiration date, and you'll click Submit Payment. Another thing that I like about TAP Hosting is they have help right within the dashboard. Now I haven't had to use their help to reach out for anything yet, but just to take a look at how easy it is to reach out to their people. You can click this floating button down here for help. And one of the things that it shows you right away is the people that have been most active on their support team, as well as when they've been active. So these guys have been active in the last 15 minutes. And you simply come down here to start a conversation and just ask your question. You can attach files as well, so screenshots of issues that you're having, and they will get back to you right here in the dashboard. So that does it for our walkthrough of the TAP hosting platform. Just a couple of final takeaways. I can't say anything to their speed, performance, or security on live sites just because I have not signed up for a pro account yet and actually hosted a website with them. So those are things that still need to be evaluated. If you are a current customer and you have a live site running on TAP, I'd love to hear a comment from you just to know how things are going and what you've experienced so far, especially in terms of speed and performance. I did mention they have free SSLs available. I just want to make sure that you guys know that that is not quite ready yet. Uh, it should be launched probably in the next couple of weeks or a month or so, but it is not quite ready just yet, but it's coming very soon. There is, uh, again, no FTP access for the free demo sites. That could be a deal breaker for some people. If you're a developer and you're used to having FTP access, that could be something that really um, is, is frustrating and challenging for you. You can create a custom theme, go into your WordPress admin area, and upload that custom theme, but you obviously wouldn't want to do that over and over again. So keep in mind that demo sites, the free plans, do not come with FTP access. You'd have to pay your $5 a month in order to get that. 
So if you're shopping around or you're just looking for a brand new WordPress host for your new site, then I think they're definitely worth a shot. Their support was super friendly and fast. I did have a chance to interact with one of the co-founders and he was extremely fast. I think he got back to me within three minutes and we chatted back and forth and he resolved my issue. I, I think it was probably less than 10 minutes before he had everything fixed. So it was fantastic support, great experience. And for $5 a month per site, that's one of the best prices around. So if their customer support stays where it is and the speed and performance are vouched for, uh, $5 a month is one of the best prices that you're going to find in the industry. So go give them a, give them a chance.